Let's talk about management of preterm labor. <clears throat> preterm birth is the leading cause of neonatal mortality and most common reason for antenatal hospitalization. 70% of neonatal death can be contributed contributed to preterm birth. 50% long-term neurological impairment in children is due to preterm birth. 15% of all births occur preterm, uh, which is between 20 weeks to 36 and 6 weeks. Tests for uh, risk test for risk stratification when patient has preterm contractions. We can look at FFN and short cervix. <coughs> Low predictive, uh, low positive predictive value should not be used exclusively for management decision. Positive FFN is concentration greater than or equal to 50 nano. Is it nanogram or picogram? Per uh, nanogram per ml. Uh, birth within seven days. Sensitivity is 76% and specificity is 82%. So 70 to 80%. Diagnostic criteria, patient needs to have contraction six in an hour or once every 10 minutes plus cervical dilation three plus or cervical length less than 20 millimeter on vaginal ultrasound or cervical length is between 20 to 30 millimeter with a positive FFN. <coughs> Intervention candidates 30% of preterm labor spontaneously resolve 50% of patients admitted for preterm labor actually give birth. Tocolytic generally eff effective for 48 hours. Only women with fetus that would benefit 48 hour delay in delivery receive tocolytics. Pre-viable use of Tocolytics is not recommended unless it is after an event known to cause preterm labor, such as intradominal surgery, treatable maternal infection, or cyclages. Preterm contraction with no cervical dilation should not be treated with tocolytics, especially if the dilation is less than two centimeters. Only three percent give birth within two weeks of presenting with symptoms. Contraindications box one has all the contraindications for Tocolysis, intrafetal demise, lethal fetal anomalies, non reassuring fetal status, severe preeclampsia or eclampsia, maternal bleeding with hemodynamic instability, chorioamnitis, preterm pre rupture membranes. Preterm premature rupture. Okay. Maternal contraindications to tocolysis. <clears throat> uh, antenatal corticosteroids decrease risk of RDS, intracranial hemorrhage, necrotizing enterocolitis, and death lowers by half 
should be given if at risk for delivery within seven days, should be given between 22 and 36 and 6 days. If you're already 34 weeks plus, uh, the steroids still decrease newborn respiratory morbidity. Tocolysis should not be used to delay the delivery for administration of steroids. If the patient has gotten a course, do not give again. Monitor for hypoglycemia. Repeat rescue course can be done if the patient is less than 34 weeks, has prior um, dose is greater than one week ago, and the delivery is expected to be within one week. Betamethasone is a uh, two time dose, 12 milligram dose IM times two doses, 24 hours apart. Dexamethasone is 6 mg IM times 4 doses every 12 hours. Magnet, uh, mag sulfate neuroprotective lowers the risk of cerebral palsy by 30%. It is given less than 32 weeks. Tocolytic table. Um, let's see. So beta agonist and calcium channel blockers should be should be used with caution in combination of max sulfate nifedipine nifedipine is first line for 32 plus weeks side effects include peripheral vasodilation nausea flushing headaches dizziness palpitations 20 mg PO loading dose, then 10 mg PO Q4 hours with a max of 40, uh, 180 mg per day. Less than 32 weeks, indomethacin, which is a non specific COX inhibitor, can be used with in, conjun in conjunction with magnesium <coughs> and is considered first line. 50 mg loading dose PR or PO with 25 mg Q4 hours afterwards. Cannot do more than 72 hours due to concern for premature constriction of ductus arteriosus and oligohydramnios. Maternal side effect, nausea vomiting, GERD, gastritis, Tabuling could lead to behavioral effects in offspring and other maternal side effects should be limited to short-term uh, use or if the patient has uterine tachycystole. It causes muscle relaxation due to beta adrenergic receptor and increases intracellular adenocyclase. Oral tribulin should not be used at all. Maintenance tocolysis with calcium channel blocker does not reduce preterm birth or improve neonatal outcome. Increased risk for pulmonary edema in multiple gestations. Antibiotics in preterm labor, there is no role in antibiotics unless you have to give GBS prophylaxis with epicillin.